And the challenge today is to overcome betrayal. What is betrayal? Well, betrayal occurs when someone violates the trust or the mutually agreed terms of a relationship. Imagine your husband bought a gold necklace and come Christmas gave it to somebody else. God. Would you wait around to find Good out night. if it... No, 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 happy Christmas. Would you wait around to find out if it's just a necklace or if it's sex and a necklace or if, worst of all, it's a necklace and love? Well, betrayal comes, of course, in many different shapes and forms. And as with most grieving processes, we might begin with denial and then anger, but ultimately, we almost always blame ourselves for the betrayal even though it's committed by the other person. So the first question is, well, why even deal with it? Can't we just be in denial or walk away? And you can't because you'll subconsciously blame yourself. You'll carry around negative emotions. Those negative emotions will infect your relationship. You always say, was I good enough? What did I do wrong? Am I not pretty enough? Yeah. Am I not Maybe. smart enough? Maybe, here's you know, a thought. Like? Maybe it wasn't you. Exactly. Which is what I'm going to bring up in a moment. But also, if you continue to blame yourself, even at a subconscious level, you'll end up sabotaging your life. So here are some things that can get you on the path to help you overcome betrayal, starting right now. You're going to be shocked why I'm saying this, but beware of using painkillers or alcohol. Really? Now. Oh, you say, well, look, that makes sense. But the real reason it makes sense, our brain processes emotional pain the same way it processes physical pain. There's no difference. So there, an emotional okay. hurt is processed in the same part of the brain as if you spilled hot coffee on you. Okay. So it's like when people say they drink to numb the pain. The same idea there. So even if you just did that today, there'd be a huge step. But number two, write out, since you're already blaming yourself, write out how you feel or believe you contributed to the outcome. There might have been something you did that contributed. Thirdly, write out the story of the person that betrayed you. What were his or her motivations? Remember, you're not responsible for the way they respond to you. Finally, how do you feel? Identify those emotions. Rejection, abandonment, lack of trust, worthlessness. As Tara said, am I good enough? Write them down. Just writing out the emotions mm -hmm. helps to validate what you feel. Just so you can right. see it and get it all out. Yes. All right, that's your challenge, guys. You have 56 minutes to accomplish that today and share your plan with us on Facebook.